Ahoy, mateys! How do you fill of tacos? Would ye sooner eat a bilge rat than another burger? Then come for all you can eat <gasps> seafood at the Frying Dutchman. <laughs> Is it more iced tea ye be needin'? Okay. <laughs> Set sail for the Frying Dutchman. Aye, aye, Captain. There she blows. The catch of the day. Arr, 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 arr. Why, ye mutinous dogs, from this day I be requiring hair nets. Arr, arr. Arr. Here be a fine vessel. The yarest river going boat there be. I'll take it. Arr. I don't know what I'm doing. We interrupt this cartoon for a special report. <gasps> Someone found my keys. Kent Brockman at the Action News Desk. A massive tanker has run aground on the central coastline, spilling millions of gallons of oil on Baby Seal Beach. Preliminary reports indicated the ship's captain was drunk at the helm. Those reports were later confirmed. Gary, I'm in a lot of trouble now. Hey, I'll give you a hundred bucks to take the blame. Hmm? Hmm? That was a prop comedy of the sea captain. More like thar he blows. <laughs> Yar, I'm so sorry. All right, let's keep this train wreck moving. Come on! He likes sunsets. What more do you want? Yar, I'm not attractive. A tramp steamer. That's perfect. Oh, I'd like to apply for a job. Any job. If you don't have a captain, I could be that. Gar, what other ships have you been on? I've been on that one. The taffy shop. Good enough. <laughs> Welcome aboard. The ship of lost souls. The name on the back says Honey Bunch. Yar, I've been meaning to paint over that. Now come and meet the rest of the damned. Did I mention their lost souls? Well, actually you did. Yar, yar. Yar, it begins. The dolphins are upon us. And only this old sea dog knows how to stop them. <laughs> You've just got to accept it. Your Game Boy is gone. It's at the bottom of the ocean. Hi. 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 <gasps> wow, there is a God. I'm telling you, the light would work better if it pointed out to sea. Dar, shut up. I know what I'm doing. Yar, I hate the sea and everything in it. Yar, it's kind of you to deliver these copies of jugs. They'll keep my men from resorting to homosexuality for about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking. Yar. Hey, well, see, Captain, looks like you and I are sailing solo tonight. Are you hitting on me? Because I don't do that on land. That man ate all our shrimp and two plastic lobsters. Tis no man. Tis a remorseless eating machine. Arr. Six bells, time for closing. Can't talk, eating. Fairly warned be thee, says I. But the sign said all you can eat. Twas a moonless night, dark as pitch, when out the mist came a beast more stomach than man. Hey! So I says to me, bosun's batten down the mizzen mast, mateys. Captain McAllister, isn't it a fact that you're not a real captain? Aye. <gasps> 
Your Honor, I would like to show the court just how much shrimp Mr. Simpson ate. Bring it in, boys. Eighteen thousand letters, all addressed to Santa Claus. You want the people of Springfield versus Chris Kringle? That's next door. Oh, Mrs. Simpson, what did you and your husband do after you were ejected from the restaurant? We pretty much went straight home. Mrs. Simpson, you're under oath. We drove around until three a.m. looking for another all-you-can-eat fish restaurant. And when you couldn't find one, we went fishing. <laughs> Do these sound like the actions of a man who had all he could eat? No, that could have been me. Homer, I've a proposition for ye, fair and true. Come on, Marge, let the people see your pretty face. Come see Bottomless Pete, nature's cruelest mistake. Come for the freak, stay for the food. Oh, he's hideous. I heard they shaved a gorilla. Ah, you call that an anchor? Yar, someone should be keelhauled for that one. Yar, the looters stole me glass eye. This be a Super Bowl. Relax, boy. We're not gonna cook you. Enjoy your day at the beach. Oh, look! Here's a little playmate for you. Hey, you don't have to take that from no punk-ass crab. What's wrong with you? Yeah, it's not his fault. He's a sissy. Someone's been coddling him. Don't look at me. I wanted to eat him. Uh, sorry, it's usually the mother. <laughs> You know, I run a small academy for lobsters like this one. We stress tough love, daily chores, and the like. No, we're not sending the lobster away to some snobby boarding school. Yeah, I understand. It's hard to let go. Uh, tell me this then: Do you have any spare change? R, ninety C shanties on three compact discs. Blow the man down, mateys. Blow the man down. Row, row, row your boat in the navy. Come on and join your fellow man. Act now and get a bonus CD. Hornpipe fever. Ar. Dar. I now pronounce you man and cow. <laughs> Please accept these illegal fireworks with my blessing. Yar. <laughs> Hey everybody! How'd you like to go on a real boat trip? Oh, oh that would be nice. I'm there. Yeah, not a looker among them. My God, they're naked. Double your pleasure, Springfield. I'm sweating. Let's ride through the car wash. Ah, this picture will serve me well on those lonely nights at sea. Yeah, here you are, one critic special. Uh, if anything appears to be moving, that's just freshness. Yeah. Hi, I'm trying to reduce light pollution. Yeah, I'd be happy to scrimshaw your petition. <gasps> Blood is raining from the sky. Hang on there, big fella. We'll save you. This ain't personal. I just love to scrimshaw. <laughs> ah, Squiddy. I got nothing against you. I just heard there was gold in your belly. <laughs> hmm. I seem to have mashed more hair into it. Oh well. Ace Cube's a useless man. Chewing gum's got to be chewed out. Does the whole town have to hear about this? Dar, have ye tried a Baltic squid? They can suck the bolts out of a submarine's hull. Dar, sorry about the delay. The chef is having a bit of a problem with tonight's special. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, I can send a busboy out to get you something from a better restaurant. Red Lobster. Not that good. Hmm. Mm. Until then. Perhaps an old sea yarn might pass the time.
Too bad I don't know any. I know one. Arr! Why buy a house when ye can buy a houseboat? Excuse me. Yeah. Don't forget to check out the galley. That's real shag carpeting. Arr! One last question. Have you ever seen the sun set at 3 p.m.? I once, when I was sailing round the Arctic... Shut up, you... Arr, matey, nary a warning like to be seen. Tis clear sailing ahead for our precious cargo. Uh, would that be the hot pants, sir? Aye, the hot pants. Lard ho! Arr, tis a good sign. Homer's unfastened the top button on his pants. Uh, no, he's been walking around like that since Thanksgiving. I'm surprised he just doesn't give it up and go for sweatpants. He says the crotch wears out too fast. Yar, that's going to replace the whale in my nightmares. Well, don't worry. The giant eclair will knock Homer off the food page and into the obituaries. <laughs> Turning to snow and then melting in the summer. Snow? Maybe they'll cancel school. Look, the sea captain's all hunkered down. Yar. Help! I was tied here by teenage pirates. I'll need three ships and fifty stout men. We'll sail round the horn and return with spices and silk, the likes of which ye have never seen. We're building a casino. Arr, can you give me five minutes? <laughs> I think the sea captain isn't coming back. He's out there playing basketball. <laughs> In your face, Julio. I'll be fetching your food right away. Six more games. <laughs> Yar, and that's the story of the very first caramel con. I mean Halloween. And it wasn't long before this yearly custom became an annual tradition. Are you looking to cross the lake which separates ye from she? Who are you? The sailing instructor. And on movie night, I run the projector. Only PG, nothing are. Yar. We've heard the same story two times now. Whose side are we going to hear next? The sea captains? No, no, I'd best be on me way. I'll just take some teddy grabs for the road. There goes a good friend. How could you miss that huge boat coming right at us? Oh, two glass eyes. I will open the floor to all crazy ideas that jump to people's minds. Stronger beer! Gladiator fights! Poetry slam! Giant rats! I have a real suggestion. Yar. Dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Goodbye, friends. So Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down today. Nothing gold can stay. Yar. Hey, Sea Captain. Giving your toys a Viking funeral, eh? I really don't want to talk about it. If you change your mind, I won't be far. Thanks, but... I've been told I'm a good listener. But when you're a captain, you never know when people are just flattering you. Yar. I... He's gone. Darn it! I just want a friend who isn't a work friend. Yar, I'm not attractive.